Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to create a custom event. Not an event listener, but an actual event that you can listen to with an event listener. So to do this you need to create a new Java plugin of course. And inside of here I've created three classes. The custom event is the main class. A message listener is just uh, the way I will call the event and the message event. Well, the message event is actually a whisper event, so when it, it listens to when a player whispers or slash tells, uh, tell uh, another player. So let's start with creating the message event. Uh, as you can see, it will return an error because we do not have uh, the, the required classes and methods over here. And let me just first make the constructor. So we're going to get a player and we're going to get a string with message, so msg. And then we're going to create the public construct, so public message event. Uh, this is the construct so that we can create these class, this class over uh, on the message listener. Uh, we've already done this uh, many times before, so I'm not going to explain how it works actually. So player, player, and uh, we're going to get a string message. Then of course we are going to set the P to player and the msg to message but as you can see this does not uh, remove the message event for that we actually have to do a message event error for that we actually have to create a private static a final handler list handlers which equals a new handler list and i'm not going to explain what a handler list actually is or what we're going to do with it but I'm just going to explain how this works when we finish it. So we're going to do a public uh, handler list and it's going to be get handlers and then this and then we're going to return uh, our handlers. And then we also have a static public handler list get handler list and we're going to return handlers as well uh, what this does it is like a, a way of uh, telling the server that we are calling this event I do not go I'm not going to explain this but just make sure this is in your custom event or it won't work okay well then we also want to do a public void or a public player which is going to be get player so that we can actually return the player out of here. So it's going to return P. And then we also want to do the same for the string get message. So that we can get the message and get the player over here. We're going to do get message. And it's going to return MSG. So that's it for the, uh, the message event class. And now we're going to call it over here. So we're going to do event handler course and we're going to public void on player chat and it's going to be a async async player chat event e and what are we going to check well we're going to check if uh, the player event uh, e if e dot get message the player event is uh, dot starts with and then we have going to do slash tell and then a space bar so that we know it's the slash tell command and what we are going to create now is uh, async player chat event e well what we want to do is we want to call the event so we're going to create the event over here we're going to get a reference so message event event equals new message event and it's going to be p uh, e dot get player going to give it the player because it requires arguments for the constructor over here and we're going to give it e dot get message and that actually creates a new event now we need to call it so we're going to get bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot call event and then we're just going to call event well what this will do this will call our custom event and we can actually just very easily listen to it because it's actually a bucket event now, a custom bucket event. So we can just copy this event handler. So like that. And then we're going to do event handler on player whisper. 
because it's on player tell. Let's make it on player tell. And uh, over here we can just say uh, message event e. And as you can see, it will return an error because I cannot spell message. Message event e. And um, we want to remove this. And uh, we want to remove this as well. And then we can just do e dot get player dot send message. And then we can you send this message with the slash tell command. And then we add our message. So e dot get message. And that's actually how easy it is to uh, create your own custom listener, uh, your own custom listener, your own custom event and listen to it. It's just a regular bucket event. Now, other uh, plugins will also be able to listen to it if they hook on to your command, which will into your plugin, which will we go into later on in I API and especially the vault API. It was requested on the discord. So I'll go into that later. So let's go check this out on the server. So we're inside Minecraft, started up the server, and let's go take a look at our custom event caller, a yeah, custom event. And as you can see, I can do slash tell and tap autocomplete, tell grant 99, hi, and ah, oh, so, hmm, the server won't even allow me to send a private message to myself, I'm so lonely on the server. But that's it for today's episode, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. There's a Discord link in the description box if you've got any feedback or questions or just ask your feedback or questions inside the comment section also down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.